So, after playing AEW Fly Forever for about half a day today, um, because I as soon as it uh, loaded, I hopped on at 9 a.m. on YouTube, streamed three hours of that, and then I streamed uh, another three hours on Twitch. My thoughts are mixed on AEW Fight Forever. Now, I'm going to say this first because this is the part that makes me mad. There's only one game mode. I paid 70 freaking dollars for one game mode, and that is Ro uh, Road to the Elite. There's something in me which is kind of like baffled that we waited three years for this. Now, is it fun? Absolutely. Dude, I had a great time playing AEW Fight Forever with Darby Allen and, you know, stuff like that. But when you only have one game mode, that kind of eliminates the game. Now, like I said, I do think I'm kind of getting bored of WWE 2K23 because that's kind of repetitive as well with the universe mode, G GM and stuff. But I thought, now hear me wrong, I might have been misled, but I thought AEW Fight Forever was going to be this new groundbreaking game. Like, you know, I, I know they were saying it's going to be like Heel Crimes of Pain and stuff, but it doesn't really feel like a new version of Heel Comes the Pain. It feels like more like a, I don't know, like a Nintendo 64 wrestling game that you just pick up and play. Now, granted, some fans will love that. I, I, me personally, I'm not one of them. I, I've always said I love video games with different game modes. Even, like... Most of the video games I play I have during game modes, like sports games like MLB The Show and um, WWE stuff. This, like I said, it's more arcadey. There's hardly any match types. Dude, I literally played, like, I think every single match type besides the ladder match in, like, only, what, two hours? Wow. Um, the roster is great. I will say that the roster is definitely good. Um, another thing that kind of bugs me is the attires. Hardly any attires. I, I, me personally, I wish they included like more attires. That would have been cool. Um, you know, the, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. the customization suite. It's not that deaf. It's, you know, it's whatever. I mean, I tried to create a custom wrestler, and I was, I was like, baffled by how limited they were um, on the creation suite. And I kind of, like, on stream, I'm like, eh, whatever. I'm not going to create a wrestler. Um, and then, like I said, the I think one thing that really... And the last thing, like, I think on negatives, and then we'll go to the positives. The moves are very, very limited. Like, I'm um, seriously, I had a Darby Allen match where I just hit, like, five, like, takedowns, like, in a row. Like, this is not like WWE where you can do, like, arm drags and all that. You can still do arm drags and stuff. But this is, like, dude, like, the moves set is really limited to, um, I'm just, like, I Now, on the positives. Now we got to the cons. Let's go to the pros. I do love the extreme matches. They're very bloody, and you know me. I love hardcore wrestling. Even my favorite WWE pay-per-view is Extreme Rules. I love hardcore wrestling. And seeing blood just gushing, just... Dude, I'm like, dude. Even on Twitch, I was like, yo, this is lit. 
the exploding bar wire death match is actually fun, even though it's kind of limited. Like I said, it's really fun. Like when the boom happens, dude, I was like laughing hysterically. Like wow, um, I do love the mini games. Um, I play a little bit of the mini games. Um, I think you know it is fun. Like even if you're bored just playing matches, like pop on a mini game or something like that's fun like from trivia to hell even a home run derby where you, where you just hit a, a ball with a titanium bat like dude um that was fun there was a what else there? oh the egg hunt where you had to carry as many eggs there were and then there was a, also a memory game uh what like poker cards had like but super what wrestlers not super shows um on them that was fun um but overall, I think, as IGN would say, I think AEW is a step in the right direction. I don't think Fight Forever is going to be a game that, me personally, like, I'll play it again. I just won't, like, be like, oh, you know, you know, really excited, excited to play again. Like, I liked it, but it's just that, woo, it's limited. And I think that's why I'm not you know, I kind of regretted spending $70 for a game with only one game mode. But at the same time, you know what? It is really fun, you know. It does remind me of a updated, ver updated version with Here Comes the Pain. I just wish, in my personal opinion, there was more game modes and the fat, and I wish we got, like, more um, matches and stuff. I just want more. That's that's all I want. I I loved AEW Five Forever. I just wanted more. Thank you guys for watching. This is my review of AEW Five Forever. Tell me what you guys saw in the comments below. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Chris Tiger is signing out.